Hello, I'm Sorrel Reisman, and I am the past president of the IEEE Computer Society. As well, this year I am serving as the editor-in-chief of the IEEE e-learning library. I'd like to share with you a few observations that I have on the relevance of the semantic web to e-learning. Many years ago, when e-learning was first invented, in fact, in the middle of the 1950s, the thought by the inventors was that e-learning that is, teaching delivered by machine would be somewhat akin to a tutor working with an individual student. Since then, e-learning has morphed into more a group or a lecture kind of mode delivered by a computer and with all the good and the bad aspects of lecturing, mostly bad. These, are, can, these can be seen today if you look at the characteristics of MOOCs which are in fact really just large lectures delivered to thousands and thousands of students. The whole notion of individualized learning that was originally part of the concept of e-learning has completely disappeared. However, today with the, uh, with the advent or the emergence of the semantic web with the cloud, data mining, etc., it is now possible to provide the kind of tutorial individualized learning that we talked about many long years ago. Most of this today it can be characterized by the term adaptive learning, but really adaptive learning will only see itself uh, fully realized when these technologies that I just mentioned, particularly the semantic web, all come together to be able to deliver to a student working at a, uh, at a computer to deliver to the student in real time the kinds of information the student needs as the student's going through the tutorial material or the learning material that uh, is necessary right then and there for the problem at hand. Probably one day through the semantic web the uh, tutorial material that we consider today available through e-learning will be able to answer students questions even before they ask them. If you think about how uh, traveling around with a cell phone, walking into a, a, a store, and the location of the cell phone is identifiable by systems in the cloud, systems that have access to data stores through interoperable clouds, that have access to your shopping profile, can suddenly look to see what you shop for, what you need, and be able to send back to you in real time on your mobile device sale information about what's going on in that store at that time. There's no reason to believe that this sort of um, scenario can't also be pro provided to students with regard to their needs of learning. This is e-learning in the future. The key to it is the semantic web. 